Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's first video doing 5D forecast. As always on Wednesday, we have a detailed look at the weather next five days across the British Isles. Later on today, we'll have a look at weather next week's 10 days and of course the very deadly situation that's uh, developing down in the Caribbean in terms of Hurricane Irma. So I'll have all of that coming up for you this afternoon. But we're starting off with the 5D forecast. Uh, we're using the websites weatherout.com and westcent.de. You find both of those websites on the links page. So this is the uh, latest road picture from the weather outlook. A lot of dry weather around today, but we have got showers in the north across parts of southwest Scotland down to northern Ireland. A few across uh, northern England down to Wales and one or two countries in the Midlands as well. But actually, it's the best day of the week today for uh, mostly dry and fine weather. Um, the south and the east at the moment is mostly dry. There could be a few showers coming through later on today. After today, it's going to be downhill all the way. Here's today's sort of pressure chart. And we're building in a very weak transient bump of high pressure across the country today. But uh, it's generally an unsettled flow. The winds from the west northwest. We've got low pressure developing out to the north and the west of the country as well. So, I say, it's a mostly dry day today. There are these showers around. They're mainly in the north and the west. But almost anywhere could catch a shower this afternoon. Um, and one or two of those might be quite sharp, although generally they should be fairly light in nature. Most places are going to stay dry. Expect a lot of cloud to be coming through today. There will be some bright or sunny spell, but I think overall the cloud probably outweighing the bright and sunny intervals uh, today. Temperatures ranging from around 14 to 20 degrees. It is a little bit cooler and fresher, especially in the south and southeast compared to recent days. Overnight tonight, low pressure developing out to the northwest country, but we are under this very weak bump of high pressure tonight, so there's going to be a lot of dry weather. Cloud will quickly melt away. Any showers that's around, they'll uh, soon die out, and then the bulk of the country will have a dry night with uh, clear spells. It's going to get quite cold with temperatures going down into single digits, especially so in rural areas, going down to 5, 6, 7, 8 degrees again. Uh, tonight, towns and cities probably holding up in double digits. By the end of the night, we're going to find cloud and outbreaks of rain beginning to spread to the far west of Scotland, down into Northern Ireland as well. And then that sets the scene really for the rest of the five day forecast period because tomorrow low pressure is moving in across the country. So, although many places will start off dry tomorrow, and there'll be sunny spells in the south and the southeast, it's going to go downhill quite quickly. There'll be cloud and outbreaks of fairly heavy rain spreading through Scotland and Northern Ireland in the morning and then that rain will spread southwards and eastwards into northern England much of Wales parts of the Midlands as well on uh, Thursday afternoon into Thursday evening leaving the far south and south east mostly dry but after that bright start it will turn increasingly cloudy We've got fairly tight packed isobars tomorrow as well so not only do you have this rain moving in from the Atlantic it's also going to be freshening winds as well temperatures probably ranging somewhere around 13 to 19 degrees but just 14 or 15 under the persistent outbreaks of rain. Low pressure is in control of the weather for Friday. I think much of England and Wales starts Friday quite wet with some heavy outbreaks of rain. That rain could uh, linger down in the south. It could be on and off through much of the day across southern counties elsewhere. I think it will tend to brighten up, but there will be sunny spells and some of those, uh, there will be sunny spells and showers, and some of those showers are going to be heavy. They might merge into longer spells of rain, in fact, across parts of Scotland, uh, close to this area of low pressure. Temperatures are looking quite cool as well, between, say, 12 and 18 degrees, really the best we can expect. Uh, it's a sunshine and shower situation to start us off during the weekend. This is Saturday, but uh, low pressure is going up towards Norway. Then more low pressure is waiting in the wings for Sunday. But Saturday, as I say, we're in a showery flow. So I think it is sunshine and showers, basically. Most places are going to start Saturday, probably with a lot of dry weather. But the clouds will very quickly bubble up. Showers will break out. Then in the afternoon, we, we can expect a lot of showers. They could merge into longer spells of rain perhaps in some places uh, as well. Temperatures are looking cool, the winds in from the north, so the best we can expect with temperatures is around 12 to 18 degrees Celsius. And then we move through uh, into Sunday and the next area of low pressure is pushing in from off the Atlantic Ocean. That's bringing 
the next batch of wet and windy weather. So we'll start Sunday again with a reasonable amount of dry weather in the south of the east, but we'll have heavy rain from the word go across Scotland, Northern Ireland, and much of Western Britain, and that uh, rain is going to push across the country through the day, driven in, you'll notice again, quite tight packed ice bar, so driven in by strong winds, wet and windy, through the country on Sunday, with sunshine and showers, eventually following to the north and the west. Temperatures are looking unseasonably cool, really, it's very autumnal weekend coming up so under any persistent rain the best we'd expect is around 13 to 15 degrees otherwise possibly up to 17 or 18 degrees in any brighter uh, breaks but overall pretty cool temperatures on Sunday and then we go through into Monday the end of the 5D forecast period and we take that area of road pressure to our east turn the wind into the north that's bringing sunshine and showers back down across the country Again, we may start off still with some persistent rain left in the east and the southeast on Monday morning, left over from Sunday's wet weather. That will go quickly, but then it's a case of sunshine and showers. Some of the showers could be heavy, there might be hail and thunder mixing. And with the wind coming from the north, temperatures again looking unseasonably cool, uh, really just uh, 11 to 17 degrees perhaps the best we can expect on Monday, two or three degrees below uh, the early September average. And these unsettled web, uh, conditions look like they're going to continue right the way through next week. Finally, just have a look at charts from weather outlook. So we've got some showers in the north and the west today, but also a fair amount of dry weather, albeit quite cloudy. Uh, a lot of cloud, wind and rain in the north and west tomorrow, the south, southeast, just about holding on to dry weather, but uh, that rain will be heading in through uh, Thursday evening and overnight Thursday into Friday. Uh, Friday itself looks quite wet down in the south, some heavy outbreaks of rain in the morning, gradually uh, turning more showery in nature, but a lot of showers around on Friday, and then Saturday very much a sunshine shower scenario as well. Sunday, wet and windy weather sweeping in across the country, very cool temperatures throughout the weekend, and then we return to sunshine and showers and cool temperatures uh, on Monday, the 8 of 5 day forecast period. So, in summary, we're in for a very unsettled five days to come. Today is the best of it, a lot of cloud around, but will be a reasonable amount of dry weather after today. Going to be lots of rain coming up, showers or longer spells of rain, strong winds at times, and unusually cool temperatures for early September. Autumn setting in very early this year. That's it for now. Come back later on. We'll have a look at the weather next week to 10 days, and we'll also have a look at the latest in the tropical Atlantic in terms of Hurricane Irma and uh, all the other storms that are developing. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.